Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the BeatMajors.net. Um, today, going to be a fairly simple, quick uh, video on FL Studio. Just basically show you guys how to set up your own um, mixer tracks or preset mixer presets, so that um, whenever you're working with a beat, you know we just want to speed your process up and make everything faster, so that you don't have to, you know, take time out to try and remember your settings from the beat that you know you really like that you know you mixed before, and you just want to kind of reference the new beat off of that. So today, like I said, it's going to be fairly simple. We're just going to kind of show you how to set up a a mixer preset when you know you. Uh, have a track that you like and like i said again you just want to reference from before so to get into it we have a beat here that we created that we really like and we like how we mix the drums but the thing is is that we didn't save the preset so when we go to another beat we don't remember the settings that we had before or on this specific beat so i'm going to kind of show you play the beat show you how we uh show you what it sounds like the drum sounds and then or just everything in general we'll show you kind of how to set up a mixer preset so here's a track here now as far as the drum goes um that was kind of the track we i like how we mix the kicks together we have two kicks going at one time and then they're side chain to the bass to kind of keep the bass under um, where it's supposed to be at. But as far as the kick goes, like I said, we like how we mix the kick. So I'm going to kind of show you a trick just to speed your process up when you're making um, beats. So like I said, we have our EQ on here that we uh, use and our transient master. We didn't really use too much on the specific kick, but here are the drums. Um, by their self let me make sure i get everything here okay so i like how the this main kick is hitting if i So basically, we like that kick. Like I said, if I right click and I go to file, save mixer track state as, then you would take this and, you know, we'll just save it here for now. But you can put this wherever you like, wherever you know, wherever you like to keep your sounds or your presets at, you can save it in that folder. Specifically here, we're just going to name this kick. Name it kick really quick. Kick, let's say kick one. Okay, so now when we you know we like that we saved it we you know we're good with that now what we do is whenever you add another sound to that uh, or you go to a new beat and you add a sound to the mixer you'd add the sound to that specific mixer track right click hit file open mixer track state and then you find your preset which we named it kick one boom now the settings the volume level the uh, effects are there same way we had them before and you know there's your starting point for your new beat so hopefully you found this very helpful again this is just to speed your process up when you're making beats so you don't have to go through the whole figuring out what you use before or what you use in another beat so again hopefully this helped you out and until next time see you guys later peace